Harry Murray is the president of Shelterbox. They're a relief group that provides temporary shelter and other essentials to those who have been displaced. She joins us from Marrakesh. So I, I just want to ask to start off, what are conditions like on the ground there now months removed from this earthquake? Well, we see there are hundreds of thousands of people displaced and high up in the Atlas Mountains, which was the epicenter of this earthquake, you see still so many villages where you have thousands of displaced families. And so we know that it's not an easy area to get to. It is a hard road to traverse. It's one road in and out. Hairpin turns, it takes hours to reach these villages. And when you arrive in the villages, it is absolute rubble. Some of these communities are 90 to 95% destroyed. And these families are still living in these very remote villages. I mean, up to this point, as far as you being on the ground there and, and talking to people there, uh, what, what are people telling you? I mean, do any of them feel forgotten in a sense? Well, I'll tell you, they're very relieved that shelter boxes there distributing emergency shelter, high thermal blankets, solar lanterns, kitchen sets, the vital supplies that these families need, especially as they prepare for winter. So in just a few weeks, they will start to see snowfall in the Atlas Mountains. And our priority at Shelterbox is moving families into emergency shelters where they will live for the winter and for the foreseeable future it is going to be years till they're able to clear all this rubble and really be able to rebuild so they're absolutely thrilled to, to see us and it has been really a privilege to work alongside these families we've been going village to village we're, we're serving about 20 different villages 6,000 people that we're providing emergency shelter to and we're doing everything alongside our partner rotary our partner grand atlas local community partners and we're seeing this groundswell of support from the local communities who are working alongside us. And how difficult is it, or how much more difficult is it to, to get some of this, this assistant, assistance uh, when disaster hits in some of the more remote areas, like of course what we've seen in, this, in these cases? Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. So for Shelterbox, we pre-position eight items all on supplies from Dubai, but we had to work locally with our partners to work through the complexities of logistics, supply chain, warehousing, trucks, volunteers to get all of this aid really safely up to the families that so desperately need it. So it is not an easy process. It takes time. We are still conducting distributions. And for now, it's a race against the fight to get aid in before the winter sets in. And I know you mentioned a little bit about it already, uh, but we do have some pictures of some of the of some of what your emergency kit provides. Um, can can you tell us a little bit about what is included, and also any changes you're making to the gear that you provide? Sure. So the basic premise of Shelter Box is what are the basic things you need to sustain your life if you lose everything in an instant? We focus on the basic need of shelter, so the provision of emergency shelter. In this instance, it's standard relief tents. These are humanitarian tents. But we also provide the essentials to set up a household. So it's high thermal blankets, it's solar lanterns, it's cooking sets to prepare a hot meal, boil water. It could be basic things like mattresses, tools. It could be water purification. We customize the aid and have custom aid packages for these families in Morocco based on meeting them in the moment they're in right now. And what they need is shelter. They need a place to sleep. And I'll tell you from working in the Atlas Mountains, we still experiencing tremors and aftershocks, and we know that most of this area is rubble. So for these families, it's very scary to sleep in damaged buildings. They far prefer to sleep in a tent. So for us, it's providing them tents, it's high thermal blankets, it's solar lanterns, and it's kitchen sets. And, and before we go, look, your group has also been operating in Ukraine as well. And while both there are needs in both settings, you, some of the areas in Ukraine very different from some of the areas you're working with in Morocco, uh, how different is it when you have to operate in a war zone? Oh, very. Uh, so I was working in Kiev uh, earlier in the year, and I'll tell you, we were in, in the middle of winter. 
And in, in many instances, I found families could be 50 people sheltering in a basement with no power, no heat. So in that instance, it was providing people with everything from high thermal sleeping bags to basic things like wood stoves and also repair kits. So you have a lot of people living in homes damaged by the bombing. So it's basic things like plastic sheeting for those windows, also things tarpaulins to put on roofs where you had you know obviously impact from some of the bombings so it's a very different type of solution in a war zone than you see in a disaster zone up in the atlas mountains here in morocco well carrie murray i know there are so many that are appreciating the work that you all are doing please keep us posted um, as your efforts continue but for starters thank you so much for being with us thanks for having me thanks so much